The Nigerian Association of Women Journalists Award has called for an end to all forms of harmful practices that affect the progress and development of Nigerian children. The call is contained in a statement by the association's national secretary, Helen Udofa in Ibadan, even as Nigerian joins the global community to mark the 2022 International Day of the African Child. Odova stated that Nawaj was particularly worried about harmful practices against Nigerian children happening in different parts of the country. Joining us tonight on the news is Mohamed Adimola, Head Research and Project, a Mother's Love Initiative here in Lagos. Glad to have you on the news tonight. Thank you very much for having me. Um, moving to the discussion tonight, the theme for this year is eliminating harmful practices affecting children. How do you think we can protect African children? Well, that's a very broad statement, but um, from the angle of um, a mother's love initiative, um, I am going to stress the key issue that has um, precipitated a lot of harmful um, practices against the African child which is the practice of whoring. Okay. Yes, and, and in simple layman terms, whoring children across um, their critical learning periods in life, across their developmental milestones, actually does more harm than good as perceived by the society. Okay. So um, the horrid child syndrome, which actually um, conceptualizes the practice of whoring, is essentially saying that we, 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 we promote stress-related behaviors uh, across childhood uh, based on our expectations of our children and um, also based on her own selfish interests. So a child who is meant to spend a uh, reasonable, uh, a particular number of time at each stage of development is rushed. The common one you see is in, school, is in the school system where you jump classes or you skip classes or a child is promoted, you know, for just the basis of academic performance alone. And whereas the total development of the child is actually essential for a functional adult in the future. Okay. Now there's so much insecurity in, the, in Nigeria, especially in the north, and uh, this has affected education, especially for children. Not forgetting that these children have become target for kidnappers, especially. How do you think uh, these northern children, especially, can be able to compete with their counterparts in other parts of the world? Okay. Well, before we moved into the formal system of education, we had the informal system, which was very effective. Uh, towards preparing a child for the future. Because the essence of education is to prepare um, an individual towards being a functional adult, towards the expectations in his or career path. Uh, the children in the North, uh, we, we have several other measures to, to education. There's homeschooling, okay? okay? There, there, there could be also make-up shift centers for education within communities. I think, I th I think with the crisis in the North, it's also a wake-up call to say that parents should not just dump their children in schools. They have the primary responsibility to, to cater for, to protect, and you know, to care for their, ch for their children. What we see today is um, parents just hurriedly pushing their children to, to the school system to, to, to get to grow, whereas they have their own primary responsibility. And um, I think um, from the government, from the part, from the from the part of the government, we uh, we could advocate that policies be made, especially in those crisis area, that um, in this age of technology, virtual education can be implemented. Okay. You know, so um, I don't know the rate of technology adoption, but I know every most an average um, child or youth in the north has access to a phone device. I think looking in that direction would be another um, great way to actually combat the challenges of physical education in schools in the northern Nigeria. All right, so I want to ask, do you think the African society has in a way contributed to uh, the challenges that the African child is facing currently? And how do we stop them? Well, absolutely. Uh, uh, but the question is, 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 is Africa fit for the African child? Okay, and, and if you look at it within that context, um, leadership has failed in ensuring that um, uh, the generational issues we have is not promoted. 
We've had several vices in the society in recent times beyond the security and crisis across all levels, from the family level, the school level, and even at the societal level. The problem is, from the cultural angle, Africa is not looking within to appreciate what, he, what she has. We are just infusing and just adopting um, cultures that are not fit for the African child. The collectivistic nature of the African system, the group mind principle, the way of we, the Ubuntu strategy, is what has actually kept the African system together till now. Is what has actually formed the, the, the social support system, the protective factors that the African child benefits from the family level to the societal level, is disintegrating at a very fast rate, probably glued due to agents of globalization. You know, to, to, today, these days, we don't get to see the connection with the, the, with, 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 between the African child and, and his or her parents. We don't see the connection between the African child and his neighbors. We don't see the connection within the African child and his or her society. Take Nigeria as a case study. The, there's an identity crisis among Nigerian children. To even be proud of yourself, to be proud to, to, of calling yourself a Nigerian citizen is a problem. And that's why, if you are given the option to leave this country or to stay, the fastest route is to leave because you haven't found a meaning or something to connect you to the purpose of being a Nigerian. Okay, so leadership has failed. However, it's not just at the top. Our parenting system, our family system has also failed the African child. And that is where the problem starts from, the family system. All right, so um, finally, before we round up this segment, how can we raise awareness on the situations that okay. are facing the African children? Yes. Um, a Mother's Love Initiative has uh, I've been over the past six years trying to advocate uh, towards um, ample practices, especially in the area of um, the, uh, already the child, okay? Because uh, this forms the basis of what a child becomes. Now, there has to be a balance in the advocacy levels and in the practices and the policies and practices. Advocacy level in the sense that it's not just about protecting the girl child. The boy child is also endangered. Okay. So we have to sensitize um, the African system on the importance of giving the boy child adequate um, attention also. Also is also for us to also um, you know, celebrate our fathers. Fatherhood. Fatherhood is something that has also been, 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 been uh, endangered in, in the parenthood system in Africa. Fathers are, are, have not really been felt in the, in the home, and it's also affecting the African child. So we, at a mother's love, are trying to create intervention programs at several levels to ensure that there's a balance in the, in, in, in the, in the, in the, in the kind of solutions we prefer to the African child. Because if you say you focus on one aspect and you don't focus on another aspect, you find out that, for example, you, if you neglect the boy child and you focus on the girl child, mm. the girl child is still going to have to marry the boy child. So that's why you see today women would marry men and, and later on those men batter them. Why would an irresponsible adult male mar uh, probably maim or, or batter his or her wife? It means something is lacking. And that's why we say hurrying a child without focusing on the social components, the emotional components of that child is going to later on lead to more harm than good. Mm. And parents come from the position of I'm giving you the best education, I'm, I'm working so hard, but they are not giving quality attention to, 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 to their children. So the lack of the quality childhood experience for a child is what leads to developmental trauma and other vices that we see when they get married. In fact, most parents we see today are not fit to be parents. That's, that's how sad it is. And if we come back to the policies, or, or the, the theme of the Day of the African Child is to say policy implications. Okay. And the direction of policy implications is to start looking at how to also remediate and prevent this practice from going forward. For example, we at Mother's Love Initiative advocates that parenting practices should be taught at tertiary levels for would-be parents who have actually lacked the rituals of childhood because they've been rushed. The, the, the basics of learning how to become responsible men, how to become responsible women, has been eroded, mm. you know. So also is the ob objectification of the girl child, you know. Girl child are now seen as commodities. They are seen as, they, they themselves see themselves as commodities due to the miseducation, okay. So we are trying to use advocacy and also research 
to ensure that policies are actually reviewed and enacted. And also in the school system, the common practices of, of ORIN is amidst the private school system. So we are advocating that government should look into control measures to ensuring that children enter school at age-appropriate levels and they are also given appropriate curriculums and also that there is no stress information overload. Children are given academic workload. They go home. They are still giving take-home assignments. They still attend extra, um, you know, extramural lessons. What is the time there for them to actually even cool off? All you right. know. So there's a lot around this, but uh, thank you so I much think... for your contributions. Thank you very much for tonight, having me, Mr. Yes. Demola. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.